Uh, welcome to this Photoshop in 30 seconds tutorial brought to you by tutvid.com where we've been going through all the features, functions, functionality, all the everything of Photoshop in about 30 seconds. It's more like three or four minutes though. And today we're up to the Rotate View tool. Now before we get into it, we got a sponsor. This tutorial is sponsored and brought to you by WP Engine. It's the best host for your WordPress site out there. Fast, it's amazing, and I'm not just saying that. I host tutvid.com on WP Engine, and I have for about two years now. They're absolutely great. Go to tutvid.com slash WP hyphen engine. The text is right there on the screen. Use the coupon code SPEEDUP, one word, for 20% off your first purchase with them. Great stuff. you got to check them out. All right, so the Rotate View tool. Here's what it does. You drag up or down or left or right, and you're going to see it rotates your image just a little bit. You're kind of really dragging along what is an invisible circle going around this little compass icon on your screen. Now, it doesn't, I'm going to hit the reset view button up here and notice it brings me right back to my normal image. It doesn't do what you might be thinking here under image, image rotation, arbitrary, and maybe we want exactly 22.5. We rotate the image and it actually rotates the pixels of the image and does all kinds of other crazy stuff. We're not going to get into why that's happening right now. That actually rotates the image. The rotate view tool just rotates the way you look at the image. So let's say we zoom in and we want to paint the smoke around this fellow green. Well, we could rotate this, and the reason that we would rotate it is because for me, I'm just going to throw a new layer here, I can grab my brush tool, it's easier for me when I'm painting, if I'm painting up and down along something, if I'm dodging and burning along somebody's face, if I'm healing something, if I'm just painting something a new color, if I'm quick masking something, if for any number of reasons, you may need to paint and freeform select something. And the Rotate View tool is so helpful for that. You can jump back to the Rotate View tool anytime you like and hit Bloop Reset View. And sure enough, it brings everything back to the way your image actually would be seen. In fact, you could rotate your image. You could save the image like this. And when somebody sees the image as like a JPEG or whatever, they're just going to see it like this because Rotate View is just rotating the way that you're looking at the image. Now, a couple quick things you can do with this. You can go Window, Arrange. Uh, bring like four images up, whatever. Uh, we can choose rotate all windows and you can see I can rotate one image and all the rest are going to rotate. Now, it doesn't look like they are rotating, but as soon as I let go, boom, they all rotate as well. I can hit reset view and they all reset back. Uh, now, typically I am working on one image at a time, so I don't really use the rotate all windows or not that often. Um, so, that's pretty much it. You can, oh, I should mention, you can go in and manually uh, enter a rotation angle. Let's say we really want that 22.5 degree angle to view this image on. We can go ahead and punch that in if we like. So that's it. The Rotate View Photoshop tool, highly underrated and I think highly underused tool. It's such a time saver and speed enhancement to your workflow. So for the Rotate View tool in Photoshop, that's it. Get it? Got it? Good. Nathaniel Dodds and Tutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one.